And so I know that you had mentioned you guys had started the wedding planning process. Obviously, COVID hit. So, you know, since things are starting to open up a little bit more, I don't know how much they are in Canada. Have you guys thought any more about wedding plans? When, where, details around that? So we moved, we postponed the wedding to November 19th of this year. Okay. And I'm now due November 18th. Heaven <laughs> think I can give birth and get married within 24 hours. I don't think so. So we're postponing it again till October of 2022. Okay. Just, see, I feel like I need a whole year. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what it's going to be like. It's This is my first baby. He's like, we can get married in the spring. I'm like, no. I, I, no. <laughs> you, you don't understand. What a sweet man. <laughs> you don't want to do two birds with one stone in one weekend. The family and friends will already be there. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I'm a little really stressful. scared about what's going to happen with him because he doesn't really fully understand what it's like to have a baby. Like he's talking about going to the Super Bowl with a newborn. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, mm, it doesn't really work like that. They have to get their shots. Like they can't just be out and about. Like mm-hmm. people don't even take their babies to the grocery store in the beginning. Like we have to just like take it easy and <laughs> plan travels with a new place. <laughs> God bless him. I mean, Catherine, I'm sure you can speak much more to this, but I'm sure you can understand what it's like to have a newborn and probably you don't want to do anything except Well, it's eat really and sleep. you can do anything, really. To be honest, if you really wanted to go to the Super Bowl, obviously with potential health things like COVID continuing to happen, but you can put on some headphones on the baby and the baby will just sleep. So whatever you want to do, the baby will pretty much do however you feel about it. They really just follow your lead. So if you want to relax, then you should relax. And if he wants to go to the Super Bowl, maybe he should consider not doing it this year. But... You know, just know it should not hold you back from doing whatever you want or just snuggling with them. Mm -hmm. But how far along are you exactly? I'm 13 weeks today. Oh, that's such a great time. Second trimester starts. You're going to be in a great position. How did you feel the first trimester? I was, I, I was so tired. Like I had heard my friends talking about how exhausted you are. I didn't realize that I would be like a zombie. Like I'm still a nap. I needed a nap every single day. And like, we were in lockdown, so it kind of worked out because I was just in like sweatpants and couldn't really go anywhere. But I'm like, how are people working like 40 hour weeks, like nurses on their feet? Like, I don't understand because I literally can't function. And I was nauseous, but I didn't throw up. So it wasn't too bad. And then I had to do um, progesterone oil shots because they just wanted to like still pump me full of all of the good hormones to make sure the baby was safe in there so that was honestly the worst part because the oil just goes in really difficult so I just mm-hmm. had lumps and bruises on oh my yeah for a while but I'm done with those too which I do want to get into all of that because I you know I kind of can relate to the injection part of things because I froze my eggs which we'll get into but um don't they call trimester two the glory days is that what it's referred to as where it's like you don't you have a little bit more energy you're not you know as nauseous it's just you you kind of feel back to your normal self so is that how you're feeling now Astrid yeah I'm like back to normal I'm working out again like the first trimester like I couldn't get on the bike now Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting back not not often I'm still using it as an excuse (laughs) but I I was too (laughs) do you are you the type of couple that wants to find out the sex of the baby or do you want to be totally surprised we're gonna wait you're gonna wait it's been like from when we met Kevin always said he wants to wait to find out the gender and I used to tell him he's crazy we're not doing that his brother did with all three of their kids Mm -hmm. but then I think after going through all the struggles trying to get pregnant. And then it was so much planning and everything was on a schedule and like nothing was a surprise. Like it's like, okay, today they're putting a baby in me and in eight days, I'm going to know if it worked or not. But Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the one thing we can still be surprised about. So I agree Mm -hmm. to you waiting to find out. You guys are, that's what what Sean and I did for all three kids. And there's, you can never be surprised like that. So I'm super excited for you guys. It's going to be such a good day. 